Hello and welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. Today I would like to introduce you to the Dainty Delight bundle. Um, it's the Dainty Delight dies and the Dainty Delight stamp set. The dies, uh, I've got them all out here with their corresponding pieces. Um, some of the pieces from the stamp set, this one, this one, this one, and this one, you can cut out with the dies or you can just cut them out of the solid cardstock. So you've got bunches of flowers, um, some leaves, flower centers, different kinds of flowers, and you've got your stem here. The stem could go on this one, it could go on this one, and we also have some leaves. There's two of the leaves dies, so you can cut doubles out at once. Um, there's this really nice, I would call it um, Queen Anne's lace or something like that. There's lots of different um, flowers that that could be. This uh, leaf, the viney leaf is beautiful. And then this one cuts out four separate flower shapes and they do have, I don't know if you can see, they do have embossing pieces on them. So you actually get a little bit of a shape on there as well. What I found with these is uh, these little ones is I had to run them through twice uh, to get the full detail. And this one here, that cuts out this little scatter. Um, I had to run that one through twice as well, just to make sure that the center cut out. Um, but these are beautiful, beautiful dies, and the greetings are very nice. Uh, sending love during the season of growth, celebrate you. The best is yet to come. There's a little floral um, patch here, some flowers and grass, and then thank you for your kindness. The dies can stand on their own um, without the stamps. Uh, this is this is a card that I've put together using the Dainty Flowers Designer Series paper and then using the dies to cut out. And I wanted more like an aster type flower, really full flower. So I cut two of these into in corresponding colors and then two each of these in corresponding colors. And then I added some of the adhesive backed milky dots. So I will do a video on how I put the card together, uh, but I just wanted to show you that the dies can stand alone um, and they're just beautiful. So thank you. Um, oh, sorry, one more tip. I took all my dies off my card. So then of course, I don't know where to put them back on again. So what I did is I traced each one in pencil so that I know where it goes back. It also helps me know if I'm missing one. So that's a quick tip for you at the end of the video. So thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for building of the card.